Welcome to part eight of the Fractal Modelers for Beginners series. This time around, we are gonna take a look at the foot switches on the FM3. Now there is a lot going on behind the scenes, so let's pull up FM3 Edit. Open FM3 Edit and look under the big save button on the right. One of the four buttons says FC Edit. If you've never been there before, you're gonna be surprised. So let's click on FC Edit. This window is divided into three sections, layouts, switches, and functions. Let's go over each section as briefly as possible. If this is still confusing, I'll make a part two video that can look at each section in more detail. You can probably guess what switches and functions are, but what are layouts? Well, layouts are exactly that. You lay out what you want to be in there. Like, do you want presets in there? Do you want scenes in there? Uh, do you want effects in there? Do you want um, switches in there? The layout, you can design what your layout is. Now the FM3 has space for nine layouts, just like the FM9, FC6, and FC12. We'll stick with the factory layouts, but once you understand them, you can make your own. Austin Buddy makes some excellent layouts that he includes with his tone packs. But for now, most of your time will be spent in the first three layouts. The nine layouts are broken out like this. Presets, scenes, effects, channels, looper, per preset, Perform, Utilities, and Master Layout. Let's look at the first layout and then we'll see if there's time to look at the others. The Presets layout is the layout that's used when you first turn on your FM3. And you can see down here in Switches, the first preset is the one that's being used, 59 Bass Guy. Next is 65 Bass Guy, followed by Vibrato Lux. It says Vibrato Lou, but it's actually Vibrato Lux. There's only 10 characters allowed on the scribble strips. If you look at your FM3, that's the same thing that's displayed on the scribble strips above the foot switches. But those are only three presets, and the FM3 comes loaded with 384 factory presets. How can you get to them using the foot switches? Well, that's where functions come in. Each switch has a tap, or a short press function, and a hold, or long press function. The tap function is shown in light gray, and the hold function is shown in dark gray. The first foot switch's tap function selects the first preset in this bank of three presets. The hold function brings you back to the previous bank of three presets. That'll make sense later. The second foot switch's tap function selects the second preset in this bank of three presets. The hold function brings you to the master layout menu. More on that later. The third foot switch's tap function selects the third preset in this bank of three presets. The hold function brings you to the next bank of three presets. If you do a long press on the third foot switch, the next three presets get displayed. For example, let's say that you're playing a song that would go great with the 59 bass guy and the A-Class 15. Assuming that you'd start with the 59 bass guy, when it comes time to switch to the A-Class 15, you'd do a long press on the third foot switch, which would bring up the next three presets. Then you'd do a short press on the third foot switch, which brings up the A-Class 15. But what if you need to get back to the 59 bass guy? Well, you do a long press on the first foot switch, which, if you remember, brings us back to the previous set of presets. Then you do a short press on the first foot switch to bring up the 59 bass guy. <laughs> I told you that would make sense. By now, you've probably guessed that you can do multiple long presses on the third foot switch to go deeper into the list of presets, and then you can go back again with multiple long presses on the first foot switch. Now this isn't elegant, but you haven't had to bend down and touch any knobs or buttons. You can keep playing while you change presets. Those three foot switches are pretty versatile. But what happens if you do a long press on the second foot switch? It brings you to the master layout menu, which is the king of all layouts, as well as the gatekeeper. You can only access a layout if it's been set up in the master layout menu. The first three layouts are presets, scenes, and effects. So when you do a long press on the second foot switch, you'll see a green LED for the presets layout, a red LED for the scenes layout, and a blue LED for the effects layout. Press the corresponding foot switch to get to the desired layout. Take our first example a step further. Let's say that you want to use scene 3 in the 59 bass guy and scene 1 in the A-Class 15. 
The FM3 starts on scene one of the 59 bass guy, so you do a long press on the second foot switch to bring up the MLM, then do a short press on the second foot switch to get to the scenes layout. All three foot switches turn red and they list the first three scenes in the preset. Do a short press on the third foot switch and now you'd be in the third scene. And of course you could do a long press on the third foot switch to get to more scenes if there are any in the preset you're in. Now when you need to switch to the A-Class 15, do a long press on the second foot switch to bring up the MLM, then do a short press on the first foot switch to go to the presets layout. All three foot switches turn green and they list the first three presets. Do a long press on the third foot switch which brings up the next three presets. Do a short press on the third foot switch, which brings up the A-Class 15. Now I know that this is starting to sound complicated and it looks like there's a lot of tap dancing, but once you start doing it, you get used to the process and it happens a lot faster. And also, once you know more about the FM3, you can order the presets in the order you want so you're not jumping all over the place. You're just going from one preset to the next. We have one more switch to explore, the blue switch in the MLM. That's the effects layout. Now even though there are only three foot switches, there are 12 effects defined in the effects layout. So how does that work? If we look at the effects layout, we can see the 12 effects, but nine are grayed out. So how do we get to them? Well, this is where views come in. If you have 12 effects but can only see three at a time, the other nine would be in different views. But what does that mean? Well, we'll get to that. So let's look here. View one has the drive, delay, and reverb blocks. So if the preset you're using has these three blocks in it, you can turn the effects on and off with the foot switches. But hey, what's this stuff about view? Well, a view is a subset of the layout, meaning that you're seeing three of 12 in any given view. Look to the left, Underneath switches, there are four buttons for views. View one has effect blocks one, two, and three. View two has effect blocks four, five, and six. View three has effect blocks seven, eight, and nine. And view four has effect blocks 10, 11, and 12. Just in case you haven't guessed how you would access those other views, you would do a long press on the third foot switch to access the next group of three effect blocks. And then you do a long press on the first foot switch to access the previous group of three effect blocks. By the way, views are also used in the scenes layout. View 1 shows scenes 1 through 3, view 2 shows scenes 4 through 6, and view 3 shows scenes 7 and 8. Let's take our example one step further. You love scene 3 in the 59 Base Guy preset, but it would even be better with the drive block turned on. How would we do that? Well, assuming that you're in the scene layout and you just chose scene three, you do a long press on the second foot switch to bring up the MLM, press the blue foot switch, which brings up the first view in the effects layout. The first foot switch is for the drive block, so you do a short press to turn on the drive block. Okay guys, this is starting to get really long, so we're gonna stop right here. Now that did take a lot longer than what I expected, but it does go to show you how deep and versatile the FM3 can be with just three foot switches. Yeah! Now, if you're still confused, drop me a comment here and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Okay, now just in case you haven't heard, I hit 2,000 subscribers the other week and now I am running a giveaway. And what I'd like for you guys to do is just send me comments of what you'd like me to talk about in the upcoming year. I'll take your name, put it in the hat. Now, if you live in the lower 48 continental states and your name is drawn, you are the winner of a Rimrock Effects Ultimate Overdrive. It's literally that simple. Now, you don't want to miss out on that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend and I will see you next week.